It's the chimps oh, on the good. first run. I don't know. It must have been opposite something. I'm watched. just so glad that none of the chimps ran amok and ate a person's face <laughs> off. Oh, God. Did you hear about that, Ed? I, I heard about that, yeah. Was it a chimp? It was a chimp. It wasn't a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was not King Kong. No. It was a chip. It was a monkey. Yeah. Or as Clouseau would say, chimpanzee oh. monkey. It was a monkey. Ate this woman's <laughs> face off in her hands. <laughs> How he dined on those two areas. Uh, both hands it was. And the woman's blind and handless from a monkey. That's amazing. That, that amazed me when I heard The that. eyelids and the nose, I yes. think. And the bone structure, they said, was all gone. What did he do? <laughs> And it was a monkey. <laughs> they look so cute on that '60s series. They are, they're, yeah, they're, they're. I couldn't believe it. They're powerful though, with animals there. Uh, apparently. Especially when, when you take away their Xanax, which she was giving them. She was giving them drugs to calm down. Well, what was the? Well, I mean, not to get sidetracked, <laughs> but what, how did this? Who owned the monkey? It was some nutty woman. Yes. And her woman friend came over to visit. Uh, and where was the nutty woman? Watching? Was there. Okay. And uh, I guess the visitor was pl playing or taunting the monkey with a toy or something. Okay. And it went berserk. Oh. <laughs> and the nutty woman could not stop the chimp from eating someone's hands? No, she went to the phone. Did you hear the 911 no, call? Not. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shoot it. Get somebody over here to shoot it. <laughs> it's attacking oh. my friend. It's, my friend is dead. Oh. I could not believe. You hear me in the background. <laughs> you could hear the monkey going for circ. <laughs> oh God! I could not. I, I could not believe it. No. I could not believe the severity of the damage of this poor woman. And it was a monkey. I could not believe it was a monkey. I could not. A believe. lion, you could see maybe. That's. I mean, yeah. That's like you know, a big beware of the dog sign, and there's a chihuahua back there. <laughs> I mean, I could not believe that this poor woman has. Uh, <laughs> No hands. She's, the hands are gone. <laughs> what did, how did he do that? Did he bite them or? Uh, I mean, what did he? They, yeah. I mean, the, the woman them. called nine one one. Yeah, I heard the call. And what happens in between? The, 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 the woman is now laying there in a pool of blood, a mess. And does the monkey just like sit down and just go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think he was still attacking when she was on the phone. Oh my God. It's, that's the most astounding story I think I've heard in years. A monkey. <laughs> then they had a chimp. They had to shoot the monkey when the oh, cops shoot arrived. The monkey. Uh, cool. I mean, what is it? One chromosome away from human? <laughs> that's, a, that's an important chromosome, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I guess just that's just the most amazing story I've, I've heard. Next yeah, to our you budget. Know, you know, <laughs> you don't want to keep monkeys in your house. No, I guess it's not. Not natural. Is it, yeah, that's, there's something wrong there. <sighs> Poor woman. Yeah, that's very vicious that attack. Is, that is the most tragic story. I know the tiger attacked uh, whichever Roy, or but he thought someone was uh, hurting Roy, uh, yelling at him from the audience, and took his head in right. his mouth to right. protect him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they said. That's, that's always the yeah. That's the best way. <laughs> yes. You know, sink your teeth into the jugular vein and drag him off stage. I'm here to help you. <laughs> Didn't they come back for like a one-time show? They did. I missed that too. Miss that. And they came back animated in that DVD, which came out. The problem was they don't really have a, an answer as to who did it or how they did it. So that's kind of left hanging at the end. And I think that would hurt. <laughs> it would be a very boring story. Oh, uh, let's see. I think we have time for four uh, poster quiz segments. Do we have that? <laughs> four, four of the post, the movie years. Do you want to do, uh, no more uh, groceries? You, you want to try to give away passes? Let's. Uh, a commercial? You want to do, do commercials com now? <laughs> uh, this is a classic commercial, Dave. Oh, okay. Uh, what is this producer? We're not sure. Funny toy. Oh, funny Good old. Guess. Okay. Ooh. Robbie Benson. Let's see. <laughs> old commercial. The Rap Car Movie Land Drive-In Theater is straight ahead. There it is now, Betty. Today's double feature. Have Gun with Travel and Heckle and Jekyll. It looks terrific, Jimmy. Drive right in and park. Let me show you how it works. Switch hey, on the like projector. That. that looks cool. It's all driving. <laughs> six exciting still features. Have
have some Mustafa Girl? and Pepper and Jekyll. Captain Kangaroo and Dinky Duck. Dinky Duck. Mighty Mouse and Farmer Alfalfa. Looks like it's Shelly Goobies. Golly Bucks, clear big pictures. This one called Movie Land Driving uh, Theater has everything. I don't know, it's not a Nick cello. Six complete features. The Stone Giant Screen, Projection Booth, Marquee That Full. Changes, Ticket Window, and I want to see the Captain Kangaroo. beautiful cars. Be the first in your neighborhood to own and operate a Remco Movie Land Driving Theater. It's only five ninety-eight. It's only five ninety-eight. Remember, Every boy wants a Remco toy. Oh, right. And so do girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's her two personalities coming through right there. <laughs> Woo! Okay, uh, geez, I would do this. What? What? We don't have time? Were you going to say that? We got five minutes. Yeah, we'll do it. If I can find the fishbowl, we can do it. Are we still on? Yep. Oh, we're still on. <coughs> we're still on. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> we haven't done this in a couple of weeks, and this is a staple of the show, Dave. I know. It's because I've been, you know, I've been talking too much. Actually. Well, we didn't do it on two weeks previous to your oh. chef appearances. So, uh, what am I doing? You're going to pick one out of the bowl. All right, here's one I picked. And uh, I, I, I picked something. What the hell does that say? That says Willie Smith. Who the hell's Willie Smith? He's one of our viewers that oh. wrote in. Well, oh, two and four. And Good. over on the board here, we board? have uh, three sets of uh, posters under here. And You're no matinee lady yet, I'll tell you. Oh, that. no. No. She was busy uh, back there grooming tonight while we were taping. Her dog. Uh, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh oh. Nice. Uh, so what did he pick, Dave? Two and four. Okay, two. Ooh, we have Twilight. Twilight. I did see that. Uh, I heard that was not that good. It was not a vampire movie well, by any means. Well, my daughter went to see it. <laughs> and four? Twice. Yes, four. If we match Twilight, Willie will win the free movie tickets. Oh. <laughs> Dave Yerst oh. still with the worst actor in history. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Keanu Oh, there it is, Ed. There's your Twilight. Oh, he stood still. Oh. Slumdog Millionaire. Is that what that says? That's what that says. Wow. Dave. And how long did you last in Slumdog Millionaire? 15 minutes. <laughs> I would have. 15 minutes. How long was it? Did you notice? Oh, I, much, much longer than I cared. It was. How was that the best picture? It wasn't that good. I don't like, well, you know what, I, I don't you like. You didn't give it a chance. I didn't. <laughs> I don't like to read my films. Is it all in subtitles? Not all of it, but, a lot it, but of it? most of it. Ah, oh, that's not good. I don't like to read my films. It draws my attention away from the action as I'm trying to read. <laughs> and I don't read quickly. I'm very slow. So sometimes the, the words go off the screen before they're done. And I have to rewind. Then yeah. i got to read them again. The Japanese understood that when they dubbed their movies into... Nothing like a good Toshiro Mifune film. <laughs> so, uh, I want to try to see it, though, because it was the best picture of the year. No, it wasn't. It was. It, was, it, it won the award. Well, we know Iron Man was the best picture. Iron, Iron Man was pretty good. Iron Man. See, my intellectual level is at superheroes. Right. Not at smart people who make intellectual films with meaning. No. That's not. That's not my speed. Well, that's my speed if it's in English, but not if I'm not going to read it. No, that's true. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I guess I'll rent it for a dollar from the Red Box. Okay, everybody, uh, that's the end of uh, this exciting uh, summer-filled show. Ooh, with already our, over. our look at Star Trek uh, coming out this Friday. It looks pretty entertaining. I saw some of these Star Trek movies in the uh, theater. So I will probably see this uh, with a pass or matinee performance. Yes. Probably. It, they're not paying full price. No. In this economy. If, okay. if my office is 80 degrees, I will leave work early and go see Star Trek, <laughs> as I did about four times last year. Oh. Yeah, but you can't promote that type of, you're promoting the state worker <laughs> is a lazy slug mentality, Ed. No. Or not. We're stating the state worker is tortured by 80 degree temperatures and has to get out or pass out on the floor. If they keep normal temperatures of 74, I will stay there and work like a dog. For you. <laughs> we'll see you next time.